Welcome to the Whipple excursion in the upper Amazon. I hope you enjoy it. This chart shows our flight from Lima to Iquitos. From Iquitos we took a bus to Nauta and then the boat left there and went up one side of the rivers back around down the other side and the Amazon is essentially going up. Here's a little more detail of the same map. Iquitos. We made it. There's our plane. That's it. That's the only plane in the whole place. Except for seaplane. Well, our trip begins here. So we think. Off to the bus. A tour of Aquito. Going through Aquitos. Lunch, I think, in Iquitos. Just get a little pep in your step, huh? These are not approved by OSHA. Gracias. I, you know, I like that speaking Spanish stuff. Ooh, we're the first ones on. There we are, we get the whole boat to ourselves. Hey, <laughs> yeah, do this. What's before? next? For the rest of the we didn't do this before. But uh, right now, really quickly, I want you to put a face and a name uh, together as you have all the three uh, staff or, or nationalists that will be with you during the whole time. We have Remy, we have Javier, and we have Ken. All three of them will be with you during the entire time. We handpick them with the black because they are one of the best uh, up here in the Amazon region. So we're happy to have them here with us during this trip. Besides that, this is a photo expedition as well, as you signed up for it. We have a couple of photographers. One of them is a representative of uh, the uh, National Geographic representative, Jonathan. Where are you? Oh, right here. Yeah, we have Jonathan. And of course, we have Antonio, who is 
a the limb black counterpart of Jonathan in the for the company uh, Antonio Adrian and he is from the Galapagos Islands a long time ago I met him um, in the Galapagos and we made the National Park training uh, course to become naturalist uh, some 25 years ago darn it's just <laughs> <laughs> time, yeah, flies. time flies so anyway um, for um, my name neither and during this trip I've been coming for several numbers of years here and I worked for the company for many 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 years as well um, in many different regions in the world so I pretty much I don't work in the Galapagos uh, anymore since for the past six years or so but I work pretty much around the world with the company in many of the other different programs um, what we are going to do right now this pretty much gives you a little bit of uh, an idea of how the decor of the ship will be it is a very nice, very high scale, laid back sort of combination style. So it's going to be a very, very it's a, a nice surprise. It's a pretty ship. Um, what we are going to do is use the skiffs. We have three skiffs, like the one that is waiting down there, a metal skiff, that will comfortably seat 10 people in each of them. Uh, we're going to transport you from here to the ship, which is not too far away. Normally, the requirement will be that you have to wear a life jacket when you are in one of those kits. However, because it's only a couple of minutes to get you to the ship itself, we're going to skip that part right now. So you're going to bring your own, your personal belongings with you. Don't worry about the um, big luggage. It's being already sent to the ship and it will be trying to be distributed to your cabin. Now, speaking of your cabin, the level that you will be arriving to the ship will be the embarkation and disembarkation level. We will be using always that spot for embarking and disembarking the skips. Um, we will not, this this uh, will be the only time that we'll be close to uh, basically uh, uh, almost like docking because the ship is not too far away from here. However, we're never going to really, really dock in any location. We'll be using always the skip for our transportation to uh, the area of where we are going. Whether we are right the one behind you, Dolphin Street. And the Dolphin one is on the other side. Dolphin one, smaller, the smaller one. Dolphin one, two, and three. Oh, there we are. one nicer than the other is two sides. I like the wood instead of the yes. yes. Even all the whole cabin is covered by wood. Ceiling, floor, walls, your closet, your door, your table, chair made of local wood from, from the Amazon. <laughs> That organic insect is powerful. Yeah, that works pretty well. Yes, yes, indeed. Just as good as deep. Yes. It's uh, almost 100% uh, natural flavor. Yeah. 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 We're taking the pills. If you guys take the pills, the malaria ones, you got them? Yes. Yeah. So here's where we are. Okay, here we are. Uh, <clears throat> so, as I was saying, you see, that is the part of the basin of the Amazon River. You see, the, the Amazon, in fact, you see, is this big 
uh, snake that go as far to the east into Brazil and then end up in on the Atlantic uh, Ocean. But now we are in that area. We are in that area. Iquitos is here. Iquitos, you arrive in your plane here and then you were brought by car as far as Mal, uh, Nauta. And that is the, the little part of the basin that we are going to sell, sail, that area. Okay, now, and we are going to sell the two main tributaries that we got uh, in that area. The Marañón River and the Ucayali River. Eh? Now we are sailing from Nauta to San Rey, so we are sailing in that way. So right now we are more or less here. If you can hand me please the, the, the chart, sir, please. The chart, yes, yeah, please. Thank you very much. So here now we are more or less, hmm, yes, we can see that right hand uh, channel yep. is this, this way. Mm -hmm. And we are sailing in that way. Okay. We are upstream. Okay, we are just taking yeah. that. And here is more or less here. Uh, deep here. Yeah. So we are going to stay there, we are going to overnight there, and then we are going to come back in order to get into the Ucayali and to go to, sorry, to here. We are going to stop here in Bretagne. <laughs> yes, that name. And by boat, you are going to sail and you're going to visit by a small boat, the, the fast boat, all that Samaria, Samaria Pacaya, Sa, Samiria Pacaya, Pacaya Samiria. It's because of the name of two rivers. The name of two rivers, pa, ri, River Pacaya and River Samiria. It's like Budapest, you know, the capital city of yeah, Hungary, yeah, yeah. You know, yes. because of Buda and Pest. So, yes, yes. Been there. yes. There. yes. Well, yeah. yeah. And so, in that case, it's Pacaya Samiria because of those two rivers. So that is mostly, mainly, no, our our route. We say uh -huh. in, nautical, in, in, in nautical terms, it's okay. That's the Amazon. That is the Amazon. Starts right there. It starts there when when the two rivers come together. So you go there, there. And that is yes, that is Colombia. That is Brazil. And that is Peru. Brazil as well is here. So that is the place where the three countries, Tabatinga is where the three countries come together. Colombia, Peru, and Brazil. Morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Javier. As a speed rider, we have David. And as a security member, we have Mr. Anguro. He's back there. He can tell you take all the mosquitoes away. Okay. He gets called Mr. Too. <laughs> so, welcome to Pavatio Creek. 
to the crew that we're going to explore this morning. This beautiful one is my, uh, my favorite trip to explore. Especially for wildlife at this time of the, of the day. Yeah, the best time to see birds in this climate too. Okay. Yeah. Take a look. Uh, one is nearby the nest. Especially the male one is making that call in order to avoid uh, the, color, the coloration. It's so nice, so nice, black and yellow. Huh? Yellow ram chassis. Yellow ram chassis. Beautiful weaver bird. We have also the russet back auto pendula, but the russet back auto. Oh, take a look, take a look. Came back. Mother nature is cooperating. Beautiful color, black and yellow. And they have also a gorgeous white feet. If you look very careful with your binoculars, you will see the beautiful blue eyes. They have blue eyes. Huh? Yellow round the feet. So this bird is considered uh, one of the smartest birds that we have here on the Amazon because the male one is able to emit like 50 kind of vocalization. They can emit even monkey calls in order to avoid the natural prayer. Could be bigger hog or a snake. Wow. And there's a trogon making that. Orange steamer is up in the top of that tree. He's just sitting up there. Pendola means pendola. There's a green ivy flying oh. over there. Green ivy. What's on the sign? On the sign is uh, another beautiful scavenger bird that's called the yellow-headed caracara. Yellow-headed caracara. You see it on the sign. In this part of the Peruvian Amazon, we have three species of caracara. And one of them, the most common, is the yellow-headed caracara. And also we have the black caracara and the red-throated, red-throated caracara. Monkeys in the tree somewhere. Pretty hard to see in there. In there.
<coughs> okay, amigos y amigas, I hope you really enjoyed your first steel ride exploration. Yeah, huh? thank, thank you. you. Exploring uh, Pawachiro Creek. Huh? Now enjoy your delicious breakfast and see you after breakfast. We're gonna provide you the the boots, boots. for your boots. Yeah, for your boots. Botas. Botas. Uh -huh. Lab jackets off, please. Somebody wants to use the walking sticks, we have just grass on here and have walking sticks. Deep enough. Why we come to this particular place? Because it's a high ground in here. Another side, like we just saw this morning, it's already, already flooded, it's under the water. That island also, I don't think it's a, this piece of ground there in this moment is all under the water. Uh, this vegetation, the trees are having special adaptations to live in the water. They have the roots under the water at least three months, four months out of the year. They have a special adaptation to live there to get oxygen from the water, otherwise they die. You know, having three, four months roots under the water to die. So, uh, it's a beautiful forest in here. And as uh, Lucho was telling you last night, one of these guys is going to follow us. His job is going to be disappearing in the forest looking for things. They know more or less some where to find things. Uh, this is clean around here. Maybe it's just a one foot deep, just this much of water, or it might be like this. And they go and they keep moving this uh, dead vegetation. Sometimes they find a little turtle. Sometimes they find an, a little anaconda. You never know. Also, they know in the, in the hollow trees, sometimes they can catch a big tarantula to show us. They will be looking for frogs. In this kind of forest, in the new flooded forest, mm -hmm. we can find the poison dart frog. I know you've heard about that. Mm -hmm. Small, colorful ones. Mm -hmm. They have a very toxic secretion that some tribes, they used to mix this secretion with the curare to put it in the tip of the dart for hunting. Mm. All right? Let's go walking. Put on for you, for you know. All right, and this way. Yeah, probably some ants that we don't want to meet. Yeah, ants, ants.
right, I want to say there's a big nest in this tree. This is a, a termite nest. See that? Very common in here. Termites are everywhere. And uh, there's another species of termite that lives on the ground. They build uh, the nest like mounds. And uh, the ones living on the ground, the way how they protect the colony, the way, ha the way how they defend themselves is biting. When you disturb, the soldiers come and bite you. They can make your finger bleed. But yeah. that species is not common. We have in the Amazon, but it's kind of rare. The ones we ha have very common is the ones that live up on the trees like this. They are living under this alive tree, so they do not any harm to the tree where they live. They just build a nest there because they eat dead wood, dead trees. See, this is alive. And it says they build a tunnel that it goes under the ground and comes out somewhere where there's a dead tree to eat. Right? Is this one of these guys? Uh, no, 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 no. This is a different kind. Okay, let me show you. The termites cannot be exposed to sun, so that's why they have to be in the shade all the time. What they do for going away from the from the uh, from the colony? Let's go 50, 100 meters. They have to build tunnels to be in the shade all the time. Let me show you. If I break a little bit like this, come closer. You can see how they come out. These do not bite. They don't no. bite. How they protect the colony, and instead of biting, they spit. <laughs> okay, everybody is spitting a liquid called formic acid. Oh, that mm -hmm. chases the enemies. Who are the enemies? The main enemies are ants. If I leave this hole open, and uh, if the ants come, they will go inside. They will eat the young and the eggs. That's why if I make this hole. They immediately start working trying to fix that to close mm. for not ants going inside. If you come in, look at this one. If you come in the next two hours, this is already fixed, mm -hmm. already covered. Okay? So they do not bite in the seat and uh, they spit. If I put my finger here, <laughs> they are not biting, they're all spitting my finger. Yeah. Right? This is what they are doing. I'll show you later. <laughs> All right. Shirt. Yeah, we're gonna eat my shirt. All right. If, let me show you my finger. It's wet. Okay. Those are the heads of the monkeys. Nice monkey. Monkey head. Oh, yeah. You can see from here. Oh, yeah. See my laser? I see. There it is. I see. Look, it's right hand side. Right side. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. 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 Here and here is another monkey head. Okay. Right there. Eh? <laughs> we have sort of one over there, but <laughs> extinct. See my laser? Yeah. Dennis found something there on the tree. Something else. See if we can find it. What are we looking at? There's a hissing noise in there. I, I see make the snake. your name? Boa. Sounds like a gas leak. There's a snake under there, hissing. Really not much to see, but another snake. Warning sign. Is that part of the air, that coloration? No. Are you looking at it? Oh my god. Here you go. Come on. 
Ah, No. That's mostly a constrictor, right? It's a ball constrictor. Or regular ball. Yeah, you can get nice panoramic shots with those oh, shells on. Yeah. Pretty good sized tree there. You can cut your something with oh, yeah. with it. Yeah. 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 I have a pretty good one. Yeah. 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 I think I don't like the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ain't no gentleman. Oh, <laughs> guess what? Since you make me. I got the Look at this. Look at the statues on the on the wall here. <laughs> That's good. Primitive. Like yeah. Do no evil. Do no evil. That's what we've been accused of. But <laughs> a a bullet ant. This is a bullet ant. They bite you and it's not pleasant. Not pleasant. Whoa. See that? She's looking. Don't don't get in front of it. Ah, so they're not shooting the bullet. They certainly agitated. Oh, that's a big guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got it. Hold on. Let's see. Let's see. See that? Uh -huh. This has a symbiotic relationship with ants. The plant itself forms a blister, empty. And this is where a type of ants live inside. They give home. Uh, in return, the ants, they live inside. When they die, when they decay, they absorb by the very fine hair as a nutrient for the plant. Also, the feces of the ants when they decay are absorbed as a nutrient. Let me show you. Okay, let me, let me open this, let me break this. Look at the ants and the eggs inside. Yeah. They are living inside. Look, Ooh. these white things are the, the eggs, right? Uh -huh. Let me show you around here. This is, this is a blister uh -huh. full of ants. Back at the ranch. I like the fish plate. Oh. Rattling. Oh, nice. Thank you.
for the uh, final ride of Monday afternoon on the 20th. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Javier, and as a skilled driver, we have David. As a paramedic, also we have a segundo, two technical nombre. Huh? As a security member, we have Camilo here. Okay? So in this afternoon, we're going to explore the Yanayaku River. It's a very good uh, river to explore. It's one tributary of the Marañón River. The Yanayaku River belongs to the Pacay and Samiria National Reserve. And here we're going to explore, searching for more wildlife. Let's see what Mother Nature has for us in this afternoon. Sound good? Okay, yeah. vamos. Andiamo. Andiamo. Here are the locals selling. Stuff that's still around. <laughs> Same kids we saw from the boat. No. You're closest. Face. Can you put it on all face? <laughs> <laughs> if, you want, if you want to buy any, let me see places. Okay. No grass. Yeah. <laughs> Did you get a picture of her face? Yeah. No grasses. Are you done with your shopping? Yeah. Okay. See. Look at this chair. Look at this chair.
Watch out with this, that's the spines. Watch out that, watch out, watch out. That's the spines. Yeah. Well, we've come to the end of the road here. In the dry season, this is land. our way through the woods. Yeah, yeah. I'm back home Monday evening. for a cocktail hour. <clears throat> a new day at dawn. Mekong Delta. Getting the boats ready. Hola. Hola. Buenos
Nice. This is where we drop the people off who are going to walk through those woods. We're going to ride out here in relative comfort while they slog through the mud. I'm getting ready for that. Okay, we go upstream. Andiamo. 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 Muy bueno. Dale, vaya. on the Marañón River. This is still being the Marañón River. And this is to the right side. This is a huge island. Behind this uh, vegetation to the right side is the main channel of the Marañón River. This is, looks like a branch of the Marañón River. And this to the other side, to the other river side, this is the uh, San Francisco community. This is a small community. What we're going to be visiting tomorrow morning. That's what you see to the left side. River. When these two rivers they join, this is the official Amazon River start. Welcome to the Amazon River, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, actually, the place where we're gonna be exploring is located to the right side. But as we are really closer, we decide to show you this afternoon. This uh, the confluence, the official Amazon River start, and the Marañón River also is burning up to the Andes mountains. With this river has approximately 1,600 kilometers from the Andes to this point. Specifically, the city where the uh, Marañón River born is called uh, Huánuco, Huánuco, also at the Peruvian Andes. And this entire river is the formation actually for about five or four rivers from the Andes. But in here, this is the Cayale River from the Andes to this point all the way up or all the way down it's approximately 3,000 kilometers from this point but from here following the course of the of the amazon river to the atlantic ocean is approximately 4,000 kilometers and the exactly uh, measure from the andes to the atlantic ocean is exactly as a uh, as 7,020 kilometers from here. yeah from no from no, the from andes the from the andes yeah. to the, the from here is approximately 4,000 kilometers. 
from this point to the to the Atlantic Ocean through Colombia and Brazil. Just follow me. From this point in our ship to reach to the mouth of the uh, Amazon River, you can. Left. That one. Oh, 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 oh that's why. <laughs> wow. I told you I saw something big. <laughs> <laughs> it was a horn screamer. Horn screamer. The little horn. Horn screamer. Oh, yeah. There might be nesting around here also. There might be more. Is that what we saw yesterday? The eggs? Yes, yes, sir. Is that a predator? Or? This one? No, actually, this is. for the trees. There are some greater anis, the black one, long tail bird, greater anis. They are really good indicators about the monkeys. Always they're following the monk, some monkey troop. Monkey, this is a kind of symbiotic relationship. When the monkeys, they are jumping, there are many insects, they are flying away. And those birds, they go hunting insects. That is for one way. The another way is when there is a kind of predator, big eagle trying to catch a monkey, they do the, they tend to be very noisy one. That is the alarm for the monkeys. A monkey normally they come down to avoid predators. That means this, those are insect eaters. This is the, uh, the beginning of the piranha canyon. Be careful with your hands, put inside of the boat, be careful with your elbow because the runner they are ready to jump to you. Right, right. <laughs> Actually there is only one place, only one place where the piranha wa are waiting for the people to jump to the boat. Also there is a place, That's only one place, right? anaconda. Where? That's the market, right? Uh, but they, they are, uh, in the market they are dead. But the place <laughs> where they are talking, they are still alive. <laughs> Worrying for people, this, the place, it's known as a Hollywood. <laughs> Hollywood place. <laughs> There's our bug hunters nesting in the trees. A couple million of them. And the next time most of them, they are white wing or canary wing parasites.
White wing parakeet. Branches moving, there are some red birds. See that? They're flying somewhere there in the back. Oh, okay. Yeah. Tuesday's holding adventure. We're going back for dinner. 